Hi, White Sox fans. My name is Joey Nigro. I'm the general manager for Delaware North here at Guarantee Great Field, home of your Chicago White Sox. And while we are missing baseball right now, we too are missing you in the ballpark and serving you some of our great signature items. Today, one of those items we're going to talk about is our Glenmark Classics and Misky Burger. It's uh, two double patties, quarter pound patty, so half pound burger with cheese and our Chi Town Pico, which we'll walk you through today. So before we get to the cooking and everything, I want to just kind of give you a rundown of the Comiskey Burger. Comiskey Burger is two quarter pound patties. We're using, of course, our partner, uh, Glenmark Classics uh, Steak Eater Burger. It is served with Chi Town Pico, a cheese spread on top, uh, served on a buttery brioche roll. Once you have all your ingredients prepped, it really is just simply put, put everything in the food processor. We got our neon green relish, store peppers, Diced onions. Diced tomatoes. And then a few pickle spears. We'll just, these might have to go on a little bit at a time, but we're gonna give it a shot here. Got four, five, we're gonna do six right now. See how it looks. You just want to pulse it a few times. Start to burn. Once those pickles get down the bottom, that's when the goodness happens. Once it gets to, you know, like a pico de gallo, so we call it Chi Town Pico consistency, you just want to sprinkle in some of your, your celery salt. As that pico goes across, it gets that celery salt down into it. That's all you really need. And your Chi-Town Pico is ready to put on top of your Glenmark Comiskey Burger. So do not flip your burgers too soon. I used to have the tendency, and a lot of folks out there still have the tendency of flipping burgers too soon, but these, you wanna wait till the juice starts coming out of this side of the patty before you flip it. So we're almost to that three minute mark. We should be able to flip these things here any minute now. So just taking my bun over here to the grill. Grab the first patty. You know, this is a cheeseburger. We're using a, you know, a cheese spread, sharp cheddar. Any preference that you want is fine. Put the first dollop right on the right on the patty. Doesn't need to be nice and neat. The next uh, the next patty's gonna. Melt, uh, melt it down a little bit. Second patty just right on top. Again, nothing nice and neat about this one. A couple ounces of our Chi-Town Pico. Of course, a little drizzle mustard on top, all to your preference. And then the topper, more cheese spread across the top. And it's nice that, it, you know, Getting the double cheeseburger, but you're also getting something to hold down that pico so it doesn't go everywhere when you eat it. Put it on there, nice little press, get some of the juice from the pico, juice from the burgers fresh off the grill. And right there is your Glenmark Classic Steak Eaters Whiskey Burger. No, really, no other better way to, to wash down one of our. Uh, White Sox Classics, the Comiskey Burger, but with uh, White Sox Gold Nail brewed by Goose Island. So the reason I picked this beer is the subtle sweetness that it has. It's got some cereal notes with some honeysuckle. It'll really help balance out some of that spice and saltiness that you'll get out of the Comiskey Burger. So while I pour this, I hope you guys are getting your ingredients ready to make your own Chi-Town Pico, and you can enjoy your Glenmark Steak Eaters Comiskey Burger at your house.